Hello, bro. Hello, bro. How you doing today? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm approximately normal. You know, I was just thinking, I was, you know, um, I was asking myself, you know, we are very, very, you know, we have been, you know, propagating South African football for some time now. So I was like, uh, South Africans, I don't know, those of you who are followers, just give us a name, a South African name for myself and for Mr. Vic. <laughs> I don't know the kind of, you know, just look for a very suitable South African Whee! so that anytime we want to analyze South African <laughs> matches, maybe I'll just call you that name. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Victor Siabonga. <laughs> All right, so good to have you in the studio. Yeah, so thank you, bro. So thank how, you. Bro. How was your day today? Fine, fine, fine. No more, no more, no more. We thank God. Yeah. All right, um, South Africans, you're going to reason why we are right here in the studio. Uh, Mr. Vic, mm. Hugo Brooks, mm -hmm. the South African coach, mm -hmm. uh, he made a statement, and um, I want to get your quick reactions to this. Now, currently, we have the international friendlies going on. And uh, he said, as far as he's concerned, he's not focused on the international friendlies, that his main focus is at the qualifiers. So from what he was saying, from what Hugo Bruce said, what I gathered from there is that whatever the outcome of the match against Algeria, the friendlies against Algeria will be, does not matter. His focus is uh, the, towards the qualifiers. So I would like to ask you, what are your reactions to that? Do you really, do you really buy into his, uh, you know, into his statement or do you have some... Uh, uh, alterations or you have some problems with that particular statement of his oh, well i understand where he's coming from but i have my reservations in as much as yes um, performances are good um, results are also good mm. so he's saying that okay it's about the performance and not the results okay. but then i think having a good result motivates you mm. right mm. Mm. Let's take ourselves aback. Um, mind you, um, South Africa's uh, quali qualification for the World Cup, they beat um, uh, uh, Benin Republic and lost to Rwanda, having three points. Fine. But let me tell you, in as much as I understand that uh, uh, the South African football really um, uh, uh, gave the world the, the, the girl yeah gave the world a, a, a shocker during the the nations cup the, because the way they they governized themselves and improved so 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 well and did a very good outing um at the nations cup but do you know one thing one thing is clear that the last 10 games of bafana bafana they've only recorded two wins in regulation time their last 10 games last 10 games confirm stats confirm stats that their last 10 games they've only recorded two, two wins, wins. In please time. if i'm wrong please correct me that's in regular time within the in regulation minutes. time yeah within 19, 19 minutes wow so you understand what that means i'm talking about the last time they had the win uh, their 11th game going back is against Benin republic but from the rwanda game that they were beating 2-0 to the Andorra game, which they played one or South Africa has only recorded two wins. I know you'd be shocked, but then let's go back to AFCON. The two games um, that uh, they won uh, was against uh, Namibia. Okay, okay. Yes, Namibia. Uh, which other game? Help me, guys. Help me, guys. But I know it's just two wins. But then, but then, yes, I understand. Ah, they got to winning the bronze. But remember, they had th three penalties in the AFCON. One was against uh, Cape Verde, which they won. One was against Nigeria in the semi-final, which they lost. Then the third one was against Congo in the bronze medal match. But then since then, they've not, between the, 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 the if I should repeat myself, between the Rwanda game till date, only two wins. Wow. Yes. And you know what that means? See, in football, when you win a game, it motivates you to win another one. Reason why when Arsenal we are we are <laughs> gunning for <laughs> the invisible days and see many clubs out there, even the um even the the Saudi Arabia club, is it uh what's the name where this guy plays? Not Ronaldo, the other club Ahila. uh Ahila, right? They are winning sweet when they started winning, they kept on winning, kept on winning. But then in life, when you win, it's just normal outside football. Though. When you win, it gives you confidence. It gives you that impetus. It gives you that drive to go forward. And that's what that, that's what I think Hugo Blue should be talking right now, okay? Mm -hmm. South Africa has not been winning. Yes, you say by penalties and all that, but then they need to win Algeria. 
Okay? Algeria is winnable. South Africa has the, 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 the squad. They have the numbers. They have individual players that are doing excellently well. Okay? But I also understand he might be like, uh, you know, that... See, I'm not trying to say that he's giving reasons. But then, we understand that the Algerian team, they are rejuvenated because they have a new coach. They want to impress. Okay? But then, you can beat Algeria. And see, what about the FIFA rankings? You want to maintain top 10 in Africa. You are just elevated to top 10 in Africa. And yes, we understand what has happened against uh, Andorra. That, and that might affect the, the, your, your position right now. But then if you also win Algeria, that might just balance up things and you at least remain at that top 10. These things give motivation to the, to, to the players out there that we won the last game we can win the next game. Mm. So I, 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 I hope that he can change from that, mentality. from that mentality, mm. make the boys feel that even if we, why can't we even have good performance and win the game? That will give more boost. Because at the end of the day, I understand that the World Cup is so, so, so important. But then, for every game, go out there and win. Go out there and win. Mm. And when you are winning too, you have your stats, you have your analytics to take. So that in the next game, if there are some points or some areas that we are not working well, why not you shuffle that? But then having that mentality that anything can happen, let's just have a fine performance. Personally, I do not think that is the best way around it. Mm. My two cents. Wow. Wow. Uh, my eyes are really open to lots of things. So in conclusion, what you're saying that the friendlies matter because winning it is what will give you the momentum going into the next game. Thank you so much for making that clear. Uh, so South Africans, let us know what you feel about this in the comment section. Do you buy into Mr. Victor or you have your own views? We'll be glad to hear from you guys. And if you're out there watching this for the very first time, guess what? Ooh, you just found an amazing, wonderful football channel. Football Intel. Welcome to Football Intel. This channel is all about propagating African football to the world. We have that vision and we will not relent until our vision becomes a reality, which is placing African football on the world map. So if you're watching for the first time, what are you waiting for? That button below, the subscription button, please click on it. Activate the notification bell and be up to date with our latest videos as soon as they are uploaded. And to those of you, our returning subscribers, who I fondly refer to as our family, Thank you for the likes and shares on our channel. We are so grateful. Thank you for the comments, the wonderful comments that keep coming in every now and then. You guys have been expressing your love for Football Intel. And talking about expressing your love for Football Intel, why not just give us a super thanks? I mean, it doesn't matter how little from $2, $5, $10, whatsoever amount, we will be so grateful. I mean, that's one of the ways you can encourage this channel and let us know that what we are doing is well appreciated. Yes, we acknowledge your comments, but so guys, you guys just have to know, push it a little bit. Just, you know, some super thanks won't just do any harm. Thank you for those of you who will be giving the super thanks. We are very grateful and very positive that we'll start receiving it. All right. So at this point, we're going to be drawing the curtain. I still remain your host of Football Intel, Mr. Dominion Tricks. And of course, alongside me, top soccer analyst, top, 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 top soccer analyst, who is always giving you guys joy back to back. I can see the wonderful comments. So many. In fact, Mr. Big, South Africans have been promising you a lot. I know most of them have been promising you good women. Oh my God! My brother, I mean, if they give you five, you give me like two. <laughs> <laughs> because I heard that South African women are beautiful. I no, can't no, just no, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> oh, thanks, 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 thanks. Yeah, thank you, that right, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right yabonga south africa we love you much love from myself and mr victor all the way from portacot nigeria we love you until we come your way again next time bye bye